Okay, here we go guys. Uh, welcome, Sagittarius 2020. So in front of you, you can see some piles of cards uh, over here to my left. Uh, that's sort of the energy of the, the reading, like what you're bringing into September. Um, the top row is all about sort of like past, recent past, recent weeks or months, um, what's still sort of looming, what's around. Uh, and then Sagittarians, we go into the bulk of the reading of, you know, and it will all start to paint a picture. Um, and then down the bottom, we've got the, um, you can't see them, there's more cards down here. Um, another set of three, they're sort of like a final outcome and, and what's to come, what, what you should do or what you shouldn't do or... So anyway, hopefully you get a nice positive reading. Uh, it's been it's been a bit of a 50-50 all the star signs I've been doing. Some of them have got some beautiful readings coming out and beautiful new beginnings and others have got a fair whack of stress going on. So, And I don't pull any punches with the reading, guys. Uh, whatever I see, I see. So it's out there. I'll just um, get some of these cards on here. Just for more information, so there's the atmosphere, uh, Sagittarians information for September 2020. Sagittarians, September 2020. Okay, this should be short and sweet. Let's see how we go. And I hope wherever you are, you're doing well. Okay, the main energy is, wow, an air sign. Uh, stress and strain, it can be a military person, a police officer, a uniform wearer, um, and this could simply be a government building. Uh, also, it could tell me that you're up in your head way too much. You're overthinking everything in a negative way. Um, it's good to be up in our head when we're constructive and um, trying to work out something new, what to do, but this is sort of like you're up at night. This is nighttime card. Uh, whoever this energy is, male or female, um, you're not too sure about them. They're upside down. They're normally the truth teller, the truth bringer, um, but maybe there's some sort of lie there. Um, or maybe there's just, they're clamming up or maybe you haven't heard from them. Um, but yeah, this is sort of like, it's pretty negative energy that's there. On the good note, it could simply be... Um, something to do with military, government, um, police officer, some sort of job and a court building. Um, so it could be something to do with that, that you're going into court about a certain matter. Um, Queen of Pentacles, to me, that's Queen of Diamonds. Um, yeah, so she would be the fire sign. We've got a fire sign here as well. Now, again, this can be a male or a female. It's just the energy that I'm picking up here. So we got an uh, uh, air sign and a fire sign right at the very beginning, and that might mean nothing at all. So if you're a cross-watcher, maybe you are the um, air or fire sign. So, um, yeah, anyway, so the energy is, this can be medical now. This could be a doctor, a nurse, and this would turn into the hospital. Um, and this would turn into night time. So there's some sort of event here. So we need more information. What are we going into? Okay. Uh, there's been arguments. Um, this is all up in your head. This is overthinking everything. Do I hold on to this? I, I'm, I'm trying to hold on to this. You've got the key, but the key's upside down. So you haven't got the key. And you, you've got the rose. So if this is a relationship type thing... You've got the information, but you haven't got all the information and you're up in your head trying to work it out. Do I hold on to this? I'm, I'm trying to hold on to this for grim death. Um, you're, a lot of self-talk's going on. You've got the world there. Is this communication that's not happening or some meeting you're supposed to have with someone that's overseas and because of COVID, it's all stuffed at the moment, like it's it's not just not happening. Um, I just feel this is a stress and a struggle. This could also mean it's some sort of legal matter. Um, you haven't got the right information and you're stressing yourself out about it and maybe the information is overseas. Um, the world is usually the world at your feet and ready to step off and, and go on a new journey and meet new people and travel and, and everything at your disposal. It is a positive, very positive card, um, but here it's just showing me a little bit too much overthinking going on. 
All right, we got the Forget Forever card, but both of these are upside down. Now, normally she's the good, wholesome woman. Um, she's the, the wife, the trusted person. She's a water sign. Um, again, this can be a male as well. Um, she's a water sign and she's upside down. So it's almost like her heart's bleeding at the moment. She's normally very structured, very honest. Um, but because this is upside down as well, are you wondering about a forever situation here? Um, are you wanting forever with someone but you, you can't find the key to the success to have it? And you're thinking up ways of how to hold on to this, how to get this going. Um, I'm feeling this is more to do with emotions and family rather than um, work. But as I said, this could be a court matter. Um, these are positive cards. Um, it's simply a water sign, an emotional type woman, usually a family woman, a woman with children. This is maybe you, even though I'm saying water sign. Um, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could just be the description of the, the woman herself or the man. Um, and this is the happy home, but it's just not that happy. It's, it's missing something. Uh, you got the lover's card as well. I knew this is an emotional thing. This is lover's, but... They're not lovers in a right way. <laughs> uh, we, we do have two separate women here too. We got the fire sign woman over here or the sharp woman. The sharp, constructive, very important, um, uh, not important, very intelligent. Um, she could work in medical. Uh, she could also work in banking and finance. Um, she's very analytical. She knows what's going on. She's, she's there. She's right next to the man wearing the uniform, the male wearing the uniform, and some sort of legal sort of thing going on over here. I feel like this is two separate entities or what's going on here. And then we've got this emotional soft person and some sort of love thing going on for her. Maybe this is a same-sex partnership and you're looking, you're a cross-watcher and you're looking at you and this person. Now, the two of hearts is the two of cups. That's a marriage again. Um, and the ace of hearts is your heart overflowing of love. But do you notice something? They're upside down. This is something you're really, really wanting. You're wanting this solid partnership with someone, this love connection, this union. It's there, but it's, it's upside down for some reason. There we go. We've got the marriage card sitting here as well. So is this your marriage? Are you in a marriage and you're not quite happy at the moment but you've still got this very strong connection with this person um it looks like there's been some sort of battle of words over here this can be where someone's not speaking up or there's some sort of secret because we've got the black five sitting there um if this was to do with work which i don't think it is but if it was you've had some really hard times and night time for you is especially hard uh, especially hard at night um, and you feel like restricted your movement you can't move forward you don't know what to do and and you want the world you want to travel you want to do things um, and you're still passionate about your your love but you're just feeling like it's just not how it was um, you do keep having this hope and dream for the future now if this is someone watching and you're supposed to be marrying someone it looks like you've had a bit of battles um, a bit of frustrations um, and the love's still all there but there's just something a little bit off there now we're getting into financial situation this is four dollars turning into seven dollars forty thousand turning into seventy thousand um, this is you structuring things all new um, the card does say bitten so do you feel like you got bitten um, got bitten by someone got stung by someone um, this energy is a fire sign too. We've got fire signs. We've got a lot of water signs going on up here, but the water signs could simply be coming in to show me that it's all about love and emotions. And, um, and it can be your health too. This could be you went to hospital. Nighttime was very bad for you. You had movement restrictions here and everything changed your future. You've had to forcefully change how your future is going to be. Um, but you're trying to focus on all this this partnership and love and family and there's a lot of female energy in here so they might be um you know might have a daughter or daughters or grandchildren or sisters there's a lot of female energy going on here um 
there's a lot of stuff up in your head where you're a bit down and depressed. This is showing me that with some structure and learning, you might be a teacher too. The fours coming out might be all about teaching. You've got double red fours here, so that could be a message from the other side from someone. Um, they may have died of a heart attack or something to do with their head. They may have had movement restrictions or something. Um, they're trying to come through and let you know that they're right by your side and they're, they're punting for you. And maybe this sorrow is about loss here. Maybe there's some sort of loss and sorrow. Um, things will turn around financially. It's like you're thinking that you might have to move as well, but you've got emotional attachments to where you are. The Hierophant, he's still upside down. He was upside down in the last reading. Um, him to me, I always say to people, this is like a psychologist or something. So if you're seeing a uh, counsellor or you're, you're, you are a counsellor in that, you might be getting frustrated with it, like when's it going to work or when's this person going to listen if you are the counsellor. Um, he's also someone that's very knowledgeable and wants everything to happen. He wants it to happen now. So maybe this is your energy. Maybe you're saying, I want it to happen and I want it to happen now. But it's upside down. You, you, slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady because things are growing in the right direction. There is some positive in the future. Okay, we got the uh, busy, 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 busy. This is running around like a chook with its head cut off. You just feel like you've got no energy left. It's gone from a 10 to a 9. It can also be sadness and tears that they're still around. Uh, that's got the Medusa head on it. It's upside down. So all of this um, being uh, deluded by someone or by your own mind, it's starting to turn around, but it's, it's slow. It's slow to do that. Uh, you feel like a fool sometimes. We've got the fool. The fool's accumulated a lot in life and they're ready to step off the cliff and do something new, but they don't want to be a fool. Um, if it's about a love relationship thing, you don't want to be felt like you're a fool. You're get, getting taken for a ride. Um, this also can be a lot of chatter, a lot of people starting to talk and watch the situation. Um, but it's a lot of hard work as well. You've got the money and the diamonds over here building, but you've got to put so much effort into all of this. Um, if this is to do with health and sickness, um, it's sort of like, it looks like an injury or something that's getting better. Um, this looks more to do with like an actual illness, a sickness of some kind. And uh, maybe you've been told you need a certain medication and somebody's telling you, oh, don't take that. That could cause this, that could cause that. And then you start to go down this natural track, but you're thinking, oh, shit, I don't want to be a fool. What if I don't do this thing and then it's too late? Um, so don't muck around with your health if this is a health issue. Get straight on, on track with it and start making your little baby steps to improve the situation. But please withdraw. If you're overworking yourself and you just can't do it, take some time off. Um, it's not worth it. At the end of the day, it's really not worth it. All right, got three of hearts. This is a new friendship or rekindling a friendship with someone, uh, maybe some friend from the past. You're not committed to your own soul. You're not committed to your own journey. Um, you just feel your emotions. It's sometimes where you're angry, sometimes where you're just lost in negative emotions. Okay, this is the truth teller, the truth bringer. Um, for a relationship type thing, this is a three-way situation. This could mean that there's three people in the relationship. He is the uh, air sign or he is simply like the first one. He is the military, the uniform wearer. Um, or he could even be dark and mysterious. Um, he's sitting right next to a divorce. Is this you? Do you want a divorce? Have you had enough of something? Have you been trying to put all your efforts in coming into September and then this is all just getting too much and you, you're thinking, I, I don't want to be a fool anymore. I don't want to keep doing this anymore. Um, but there was a three-way situation. This can be a sexual card with this male um, and there's some sort of broken relationship here. Or it could be that you're the third person in his relationship and it's coming or you're deciding that it's no more. Um, with work stuff, 
this is telling me be more creative. If you like cooking, you like sewing, you like getting out in the garden, whatever it is, you need more of that in your life and less stress. Okay, you've got wishes coming true and it's a surprise. Yay, wishes coming true. <laughs> Your heart's upside down. If this was like this, this is like, yay, finally my heart's overflowing. Maybe you're wishing and hoping for something in the wrong direction. Maybe you need to refocus your energies because there's something else there that's going to make you happy, but you're not seeing it. I feel that normally you Sagittarians, I feel that normally you're a happy-go-lucky, you're very family orientated. you're very structured with your world. Uh, money is quite important to you, but right now it's not. It's sort of like it's a... It's a drudge, it's a daily grind, um, and it's just like, it's too much. And then you're, you're, there's not enough effort going into your own self of what you want, what makes you happy, what, what is it that you need to create? You need to create something new. Uh, maybe this is something to do with um, following new rules, new set of rules and guidelines and picking up the, it's like you have a little bit of fun and then the negative emotions still sitting there. But you've got wishes coming true, it's a nice surprise and it might be unexpected of where it's coming from. Okay, last part of your reading. New responsibilities that you're good at, a little bit of work but it's good responsibility. So maybe you're gonna throw your energies into something new um, there is a conversation that needs to be had and it, it's not an all-out battle but it's you you need to ask those right questions and be responsible for your actions so I feel you're making a decision here in the end of December uh, September <laughs> this is the marriage card the two people together it's also restructuring everything that you do but this is maybe a marriage of you and yourself and being responsible for your actions and starting something the way it needs to be started but first be heard first have this it might be a difficult conversation but it needs to happen um, yeah these are nice cards here this is almost like finally being with someone or finally having someone new come into your life um, with work this is a bit of work and new responsibilities and restructuring how you do things. Maybe you need to change things up a little bit. Last cards. Wow, ten of hearts. This is your heart overflowing. This is joy in a marriage. Oh, you've got double tens. Double tens. So October will be when things turn around for the better and everything's going your way. So maybe this is towards the end of September and then by September, uh, October, you're feeling quite settled. Now, if you were going into buying property, selling property and all of that, this is showing me this is going to be optimum. You've also got messages from the other side to do with 10 because you've got another 10 sitting here. 10 or October, you've got another 10 sitting there. So someone was either born in um, October, they died in October. The 10th of the month um, means something. Uh, maybe you lived in house number 10. But yeah, 10 means something. 10 is important. It's going from the black 10s to the red 10s. So it's going from the negative energy to the positive energy. But this is usually a marriage celebration, two people cementing a deal. Uh, you're still holding on to those emotions. You're still looking at the cups overflowing um, and you need to turn around and grab it with both hands. So maybe you're getting a new opportunity offered right in front of your face. I'd say leave this drama behind and take on the new but um you've got good stuff at the end of the month so you, you've got a bit of a struggle through the month but you've got a lovely ending to the month so anyway sagittarians uh, if you haven't already please subscribe and like the video and um a little thumbs up and I'd, I'd love some comments from you out there that yeah I'm a Sagittarius it resonated with me or parts of it did or I'm hoping for this or I'm hoping for that um, yeah so anyway that's it I, I like that you've got this nice ending here you, you, you've got struggles and stuff um, get out of your head there's a lot of negative stuff in your head. I feel that you're working very hard on that because this is showing me where you're working hard and you start to get even keeled and then it picks up a notch.
but you've got um, throw your energies if you're a female or a male it's like be around females and family and um, occupy your mind with positive stuff that's in your life and let go of the negative stuff if you can but slow and steady wins the race baby steps so anyway that's it from me for uh, Sagittarius and I'll catch you on the next one bye for now